Hi friends, welcome to my channel Plotus Geek. Today we're gonna fix an issue in which you got an error. The program cannot start because of the file msvcp140.dll is missing. So let's go ahead and proceed. The first step that you need to perform is to open your settings menu, click on update and security and click on windows update. From here click on a download button or check for update option to make sure your windows is up to date. Sometimes simply updating will fix out your issue. If this doesn't work out, we are going to proceed to the second step. In second step, first of all you need to right click on this PC and click on the option properties. From here check your architecture type. From here check your architecture type. My system type is 64 bit. So let's go ahead and proceed. Now this time open your Google Chrome and open this website which is Microsoft official website. I'll provide you the link in the description below. Scroll down and click on the option download. Choose the type of system type you have. If you have a 64 bit operating system, choose the file, the first one. If you have a 32 bit or here you will find x86 then choose the second file. I have a 64 bit I will choose the first file and click on the next button to download Microsoft Visual C++. Save it in your desktop. Once the file is downloaded go ahead and install this particular Microsoft Visual C++ in your system and then restart your PC. This will fix out your issue. However, if the problem still persists, the very last method is to manually download the file. In order to download the file, I will provide the link of this website also in the description below so that you can directly open this website, scroll down and choose the first option which is download if you have a 64 bit architecture. If you have a 32 bit, choose the second option. I have a 64 bit, so I will choose the first one to download the file. Once the file is downloaded, open the folder and extract the file. Now copy the file, open your this PC, C drive, Windows, System32 folder. Paste the file over here. Click on the replace the file if you got a prompt like this. Once done, again go to the windows folder and find here folder syswow64 open this folder also and paste the same file over here and click on the replace the file option to replace the file now once the file is pasted close your computer and restart your system and then check if the problem is resolved or not as of now these are the three best possible ways to fix your issue if the problem still persists, feel free to comment below so that I can find more ways for the resolution. As of now, that's it about it friends. If you like this tutorial, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.